Let's play as Nouveau first. There is no sound. And there you go. So name me my email. You got some thoughts about... It's just not feeling great. He doesn't know why. I think overall it's cool. I think there's a moment right through there where we can push the timing a little bit. But definitely some cool poses. Let me look at the front view. It all depends if you want to have this at one point from a three-quarter perspective. I think, you know, in terms of complexity, you could have something where as he throws the ball, the ball will go... That's the wrong tool. It will go like this. As in, instead of going straight up and down, the ball would end up here, so he has to jump. So it's a bit more of a sideways jump, just for a complexity of um, direction there. So if I put... Onion skinning on, and he throws the ball. Let's see, right? That's the line of your of your ball. It stays pretty much there. So that could be one thing. But I think looking at your front view, uh, the side view, again, it depends on where you want to end up seeing this, or if it's just an exercise. You know, you just don't really care. Just want to work on general timing and how it feels and stuff. Like you could work on. Silhouette by not having this overlap so much. You can keep one arm a bit higher through there. And then, like even on this, could have even a bit of a just a clearing out of that arm out into, you know, body here. So you have a clean silhouette there. And maybe this is a bit, since we're still in step mode here but you know as it shoots up here it kind of locks at that height and then you just have kind of like pop in the wrist that then kind of comes down so you can kind of have that a bit smoother in the in the return to me it feels like you could have this and then get to a pose like that maybe between here and here and even there when he comes down it's supposed to just a bit broken on that turn and then as it relaxes I think maybe even a bit lower. It's not too bad though because it's then you go then you snap back. I do love this here that we are in such a pose here, both arms. I think that's great. Here I will bring this up just a little bit so that we have a separation between the leg and the arm, so it's not overlapping there and having some tangents. Cool stretch. Same here. Bring the arm maybe a bit further out, so it's not that close. It's a nice silhouette though. This, there could be something where we could even go further with that elbow back here and then maybe move your head forward a little bit just to clean up that overlap there. And then with this, we can almost hold one more frame of something like that where he's compressed. Let me just see what that arm is doing. Well, we want that. From here to here for a snap. I can see that. The problem is that you're going, well, once you would spline this, it might feel very strong. And then you lock it in that same orientation. That's why I feel like, what if we had further back into this, then maybe into a bit less, and then into that. And then on this, same thing with silhouette, just kind of cleaning out like some of those arm back. Even here, a bit separation between these. Just in every frame, kind of check on the clarity of it. But the biggest thing to me is it would be a through this section here, hold. Kind of like how you hold the the ball too. It would be great to have. It's definitely snappy if you have it on the immediate stretch. But the thing is, what's happening now is that it's kind of there and then disappears. And I wonder if it would feel stronger if you don't hold that here but this would be like a full squash so that we have a big stretch here so we can feel that but i would have i would add maybe three more frames during this section here to have a longer hold because right now it's kind of and then that's it versus like hold because there's enough enough cool exaggerated poses that you could push the timing just a little bit more. It's fairly naturalistic. It's not like super cartoony. It's also not super real. You're kind of in the middle-ish where I feel like we could kind of push that a little bit. 
So, I, I mean, that was my feeling. It obviously, all subjective. But when I was watching this, it felt like you're almost not rushing through this moment, but it's almost like you you could squeeze out a bit more heft by going... <laughs> like you want to feel that... <laughs> that moment of... <gasps> the inhale and the exhale. You go... <gasps> Just hold a bit longer. And again, it's just two frames, three frames. But I do miss that ball. Ba -ba. Boom. And then phew, with some dust here. Phew. And if you hold longer through there, phew, on this, you can even have a slight stronger compression where imagine even that arm, both will be a bit more further forward. So that boom on this. They would actually swing back and he will compress more with the body for a moment of boom and then come back up. It's always a bit of a limited compression. Like it feels very relaxed. So maybe, you know, again, that's not that that's wrong. It's just a different attitude in terms of how this guy goes about it. It's more like, all right, practice. Okay, that's okay for today. Versus and that's it. I, I, I'm, you know, smacking this ball as hard as I can. It's just a different type of attitude. And then if I look at just quickly, even from, from the front view, it might even be something where you hold that a bit longer. Like so, like, like I say, like it'll hold one more frame and then come back down. And if you had it from the front view, I think because if you would bring the ball over instead of straight, have a little bit of a move this way, he could jump and have a bit of a sideways hop as well. Not sure that would read enough in an in a orthographic side. Probably not. But that's kind of that. That's what I have. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.